My name is Nico Drok. I am working at the University of Windesheim in Zwolle, Netherlands. And I am also the president of the European Journalism Training Association. Uh, uh, the uh, European Journalism Training Association is, uh, has decided uh, in May this year to launch a new uh, research project uh, which is about roles, values and qualifications of future journalists. And the group we're going to uh, uh, interview and to ask questions uh, are the teachers. There is a, a long-standing uh, uh, research which is called Worlds of Journalism, which is about professionals. There is a, a, a research called Journalism Students Around the Globe, which is about students. But there is what is lacking is genuine research on roles, values and qualifications among journalism teachers. And uh, we believe that teachers are a, a key factor in the, the innovation process that journalism needs. Because in the end, I mean, you can change the, 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 the journalists who are working now. And of course, people are trying, etc. But the real um, renewal has to come from the new generation. Uh, at this point, we are still in the phase of developing, finalizing the questionnaire. And we're almost there. And um, but the, the real data collection will start in January 2018. Uh, we're, we're still uh, asking the members of ESHTA uh, if they want to be involved in this uh, because it, 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 it will take some of them their time. Um, but in the end, I, will, I think that about 70 universities from 30 countries of Europe will participate. And uh, if everything goes right, it will be about 4,000, 3,000 to 4,000 uh, 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 teachers of journalism. And it will, will take about two years. The first results will be presented in 2019 in Paris at the uh, next World Journalism Education Congress. Well, I'm, I'm very much interested in the, in the other two long uh, uh, standing projects I mentioned. The Worlds of Journalism project, uh, which is uh, connected to the name of Thomas Hanisch from München. And um, uh, that Worlds of Journal pro Journalism project will have a new round uh, starting in 2020. Uh, so we will be before, we will fin finalize before that. Um, but there is still a lot of research in that field that has, that, that has to be done now. So there has been a, a huge data collection in, in, in 90 countries all over the world. And uh, we're still in the phase of analyzing that and comparing that uh, country by country, etc. Uh, so that is a kind of research I'm very much interested in. And uh, I'm very much interested in, in, in research about the media habits of young people. I just finished, finalized the research in the Netherlands about that. Um, how young people uh, use the news and, and how, they, how they differ because we yeah. always talk about young people as being one category and if research shows anything it is that young people are as different as, as any, any age category uh, among themselves. Uh, and I'm very much interested in the, in the constructive journalism uh, uh, which is a kind of more or less new form of journalism although it has strong roots in, in other uh, forms of journalism in the 20s and the, and, and the first part of the century.